I am so ready today. I did I did a bit of prep stuff. So I went and farmed out a new weapon before going to kill Plague uh, Bringer. So this should help. It's called the Stellar Knife. It drops off of the um, like little dog creatures in the astral infection. I actually got it off of my second one, but it's like a 14% chance to drop. So uh, if you're playing rogue, you may have a bit of uh, issue trying to farm it out, but I got insanely lucky. So I got that. Rerolled it to flawless. Um, went and farmed out more of the solar veils to get fantasy talisman because I think that if all of the other weapons that I have don't work, this is a good go-to. And then I went to the jungle and farmed out my light fruit and everything to get the miracle fruit. So this um, straight up just gives me 25 max life. So we're going to go ahead and pop that. Um, as you see, it changes our, our health uh, crystals also. Um, while I'm at it, I want to check the life fruit because you can get blood orange and I actually might be able to make this like right now because that would be an extra 25. Um, I don't think I can make this one. Yeah, I can't make this one yet and I cannot make this one yet, but we have, ooh, there's a new one. <laughs> Can't make that one either. But hey, if I could get the blood orange, that would actually be quite nice. Um, let's check. Let's see what we got. Blood orange. I would have done this before, but I just remembered it. Um, I'm missing one life fruit and the blood or the orange blood root. Where do you even get the orange blood root from? I don't remember. I, I feel like this was from something underground, but I don't remember. Um, also missing a blood orb. All right, let, let me look up the orange blood root and see where I get that. Okay, so this just spawns underground. Um, I could check the map and see if we find any. Uh, it spawns at like this level, like right right before. It's it's like the upper levels of the um, of the underground, and I don't think I have any spawned anywhere. I'm gonna look around see if I can find any, but I don't think I'm going to. As I suspected, couldn't find any, so I'm, I'm just gonna go digging. It's possible that we can find it. I'm just gonna go essentially one direction here. I'm just gonna go left, and if I find one, I find one. What the heck is that? Sun bat? I don't think I've ever seen a sun bat. At least, not that I know of. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what the sun bat is. I, I guess I could go kill it. Um, it could be just like a weird uh, biome thing. Like I just haven't been in the biome that it spawns in. Don't know. Oh. Found one. I see it up there. Aha. That actually didn't take very long. So if you're struggling to find where those are, it's just on the upper layer there. So I, I'll, I'll even show you on my map. Uh, where am I? Right there. So like basically in this area, like right before it turns into all flat out caves. Well, that made that easy. Uh, I needed life fruit, um, which actually, you know what? I wonder if she drops... Oh wait, I also need the other things too, right? So let's let's look here. I needed five of each of those, and I don't think I have them, so I'm I'm missing some. Oh, that was flight. I don't want flight. I want might. Um and sight. And I need to go to I've I've also spent a lot of gold on re-rolling, by the way. If you could tell I'm at like 16 platinum as opposed to yesterday where I was like 26. So let's see here. Oh, and I also buffed up all my stuff. Oh yeah, okay, so you can just buy living shards. Um, I think it is one for one. It is. So uh, I only need one at the moment, so I'll just buy one. And I needed something else. What was it? I have those. Oh, the blood orbs, that's right. Yeah, that is really kind of annoying because the blood orbs I'm, I think I can potentially buy it from one of the vendors. I just don't remember which one. It might be the Dryad. Let's check him. Yeah, he ain't got it. Conveniently, he does have butterfly dust. So I guess if you're looking for those wings, uh, she also doesn't have it. Is there anything I could do to summon a blood moon? Cause actually that might help. Okay, so to get a blood moon, you can make a blood relic. Had to look this up. Um, evil powder and unholy course. I happen to have ten um, evil, or I happen to have ten 
uh, purification powder, I made the vial powder, and then I, I ha already had the, the cores, luckily. So we could just pop this and do that. So I'm gonna go farm out some of these blood thingies so that I could get this fruit. But I am I think this is worth it. Oh, right, it needs to be nighttime, doesn't it? It's a blood moon, not a blood sun. So we should try out this new weapon while we're farming this out. So basically you fire it, it shoots out a bunch of daggers and then the daggers all home in um, like that. <laughs> Which is pretty cool, and I think would work really, really well against Plaguebringer. Because I need I need to be able to track him. I don't necessarily need to track him well, and that's where that goes um, pretty nice with that fight. So I, can, I can just throw those out with the stealth strikes and then just wait for them to actually land. So that's kind of my hope, is that it's going to be a bit better. If all else fails, like I said, I got 700 fantasy talismans, so... That should also help quite a lot, because that weapon is like, I don't know, I, I would say so far, that weapon has proven to be the MVP of hard mode. Once once I've gotten it, I've used it on, my goodness, like every boss since I got it. At, at least, at least I've tried it on every boss, but uh, several of the bosses I've actually killed with it, just because I've, I'm like, oh, surely this is not the best weapon for this, and then sure enough, I go and use it. It's the best weapon, so I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with it. I think it is the MTP. Right, I think I have more than enough blood orbs here. I only needed one, but I wanted to farm some extra because I know that I'm eventually going to need some more. So let's clear out all this. Kill this little ice thing. Um, did I miss any loot up here? I kind of did. Right, I, think, I think we're good. Fortunately, my storage is kind of full so I'm having to go through and take out a bunch of the extras that aren't doing anything except taking up space and clear a bit of this out and then then we should be fine I, I just need to like get through this boss and and essentially get to the lunar event because if I could do that then I, I can upgrade all this anyways okay now let's try this so we're gonna go to blood make our blood orange bam zoom consume there we go 550 that's quite nice okay so i think i'm at the point where yeah i'm I, I'm, I'm ready to do this oh i put the glove in there didn't i crap there was there were two things there's this and one other accessory that is going to be impossible to find because it looks like so many of the other ones that i have in here <laughs> crap where did it go i should probably just go look at the vendor and find out the name of it because otherwise I'm not gonna find it. okay where, where where's the vendor the rogue I think is where it came from shop the ethereal extorter because I re-rolled it and everything there it is um so I have two options here be because I'm not gonna use the the talisman the talisman is nice but every time I die to the boss, it resets. So I'm not actually getting that 15% extra rogue damage. So I may as well swap out to something else. So like the glove of precision decreased rogue attack speed by 20%, but increases damage and crit by 12% and velocity by 25%. Like super good. Or rogue projectiles explode into homing souls on death. 10% increased rogue damage plus 10 max stealth. However, life is uh, life regen is reduced by one. I actually think that that might be the one to go for here because we have so many rogue projectiles that we're shooting out with each stealth strike of this thing. It's crazy. It is crazy. All right, let's uh, let's go to... Hey, you're you're in the way. Can you, can you... Actually, I don't even need a teleport over there. I forgot that I haven't set up a teleporter yet. I think I'm going to need a few of these, right? Let's, let's buy a few of them. Okay. Uh, teleport over. Buff up. Let's do this. I'm, I'm actually feeling quite prepared. Uh, where's our weapon? Can we toss these out? Yeah, that I see. You know what? I feel like this this weapon is the the weapon. I feel like it is. As long as I just dodge and just toss these into the air, I think it'll be fine. Because yeah, oh my goodness, the homing is so nice. Yep, this is it. This is the weapon. I found it. I have found my true weapon. <laughs> I feel like I'm already doing more damage than I was before. Although I am going to shoot a few of these out while adrenaline's going off. Okay. The 
the little enemy dudes are kind of a problem, I think. I, I, I might need to swap weapons here to just take care of some of them. Just to kind of clear them up a bit. Okay, now we swap back to the daggers. Whoop. Oh, that's right. It does the... Ah, that's always what messed me up before. Or the crazy amount of, like, diagonal dodge... Uh, dashes? Dodges? That it did. And it did, like, a like a bombing run at 1.2, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna have some troubles with that. I forgot all about that. That was actually one thing that made this fight incredibly difficult for me. Oh, another thing you could do with these daggers is just fire them point blank. And you guarantee they all land on the boss. Which is... Kind of insane. It does a lot of damage. Oh, I'm, I keep getting poisoned. Or no, it's abyssal evade. No, what is what is this like poison damage that I keep getting? I gotta keep an eye on it. And let's launch those out. Dodge over this way. Ugh, crap! <laughs> Just ran into me. What is it? Plague. Okay, so. I don't think I have anything that makes me immune to plague. I just need to not get hit. You know, for our first real attempt with a new weapon, actually, I think that this has gone quite well. Except running into stuff. That plague is going to end up killing me. Do I have a heal? I do. Oh, you know what? That worked out quite well. I'm going to wait for adrenaline. Actually, we might have rage adrenaline here. Okay. I don't have rage yet, but the adrenaline did help. Okay, something was ready for launch and I did not see what was going on because I couldn't read it because I was too busy dodging. <laughs> oh, rockets. Okay. Those are, those are big missiles. Oh my goodness. Let me launch some of these out there. I'm going to ruin my stealth strike just for that. Oh, wow. Okay. I got 28 seconds on a heal. I do have rage. Should I, should I save up for adrenaline and go with a double whammy? Actually, I feel like maybe I should. Oh, no. Ah, crap. I screwed that up, didn't I? Can I not? No. <laughs> I think I'm going to try the fantasy talisman. Talisman. I think that that... It didn't go bad, but it could have gone better. I I spent a lot of the time trying to focus on... Actually hitting with the weapons when I don't need to be worrying about that. And less time... Uh, dodging. And because I didn't dodge... That didn't really work for us. So let's... What the heck was that? What did I just run into that did almost like a quarter of my life? Holy cow. Uh, let's launch this out. Clear up some of these guys. Okay. Summon the boss. We're going to go to Fantasy Talisman. Try this out. If I can actually hit with it. That, that would be ideal, you know. I think maybe the, the Precision Gauntlet might be better for this one. I don't know. Because I don't know if the... Oh, you know what? It does. So it, it appears that the little... Actually, maybe not. I was, I was hoping the little spirits would also break apart into things. Let's wait for the boss here to actually be able to hit. You know what? This is the weapon for it. It really is. <laughs> it does so much more damage. I think I, I can more reliably hit with it, too. Not that the other one was hard to hit with, but... This one, the, the tracking on it is pretty good. Uh, let's dodge back this way. Also, I kind of have to just ignore the ads with this weapon as opposed to the other one where I was intentionally trying to launch it so that uh, the daggers would hit the boss. Oop. I'm, I'm going to wait for the double whammy here. I think it'll be really good if I do. Yeah, like that. Okay. I don't know where the boss went, but <laughs> I did a bunch of damage. Woo! -hoo. Okay, that, that went really well. So now we just have to wait for the boss to come back this way. See, I oh my goodness, the, the muscle memory on that was pretty good. Remembering that when he dodges back and forth, you have to dodge the opposite direction and go through the projectiles. Forgot all about that until that moment. Wait for the adrenaline, get the stealth strike. Where did he go? I actually have no idea where he's at. Ah, oh, crap. I wasted my stealth strike, I think. I don't think I actually hit with the weapon. Oh, that really sucked. Oh, well. Ugh. 
Holy cow. Oh, I healed when I didn't need to. I hit the wrong button. Where did he go? Oh, goodness. This is so difficult to dodge through this stuff. <laughs> yep. Oh, dang it. No. <laughs> He's so low. I just did not, not get hit. Why is it raining? Is the rain is making it more difficult to see everything, too. Can I turn the rain off? Is that a possibility? That was kind of risky, wasn't it? Did I hit with that? I threw the card in a random direction. I don't know where it went. Oh, this way. Ooh, that was a good dodge. That was a really good dodge. I'm going to hit with rage and just finish him. Oh, my goodness. We did it. <sighs> right, that was not easy. Did we get our weapon? There is a particular weapon we're looking to get from here. It doesn't appear so. Should I refight him real quick? I don't know. Uh, what, what do I do with the infected armor plating? I don't remember exactly what it makes. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I, I saw this before. Do, do, do. This is summon armor. That's a summon weapon. They've got this particular rogue weapon here, which is pretty good, but it is effectively the, um, the spiky balls. That's all it really is. So it's not bad. Okay, how many points did I get for killing him? Oh, talk to Tinkerer when you defeat Moonlord to unlock all accessories. Oh, nice. You found all post-Plantera blueprints. Now you may sell all leftover paper tubes. Cool. So he's been defeated. I got the... Oh, those are... Wait, those are tier four reversity coins. If I go over to the person... I forgot their name. The... Oh, I don't even know what they're called. Can I get the bags for them? Wanted treasure bag. Hmm. It requires tier four coins. Ah, crap. That's the problem is there is a... I don't remember the name of it. It... Uh, in June, no, that's not it either. <laughs> There's a weapon that drops from Plaguebringer. Can I go to Bestiary... And where's Plaguebringer? I don't actually. Oh, yeah, there he is. Is this going to be. Can I, wow, can I not look through this? There we go. There is a particular weapon that drops from them, I think. Yeah, here it is the syringe. I've had multiple people tell me that I need to get it. And I think we're going to refight the boss. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head back over there. I'm going to refight him. I've got, a, eh, I'm going to have to rebuff some things, but hopefully that will allow me to get the weapon. It's got fairly substantial drop rate, so I'm not concerned about doing this too many times, and I'll also be able to buy a bag the next time, so that should help. Okay, the refight didn't go as well, but I still managed to get him. Did we get the weapon? We did. Oh, goody. Okay, cool. Well, that helps out a lot. So this thing... Ooh, you even got deadly. It uh, throws a high velocity syringe that increases damage as it travels, shatters into glass, and plague cylinders on impact. Still strikes also shatter into plague bees. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this isn't healthy is what it says. That sounds fun. So let's try this out. What does it look like? Actually, can we switch it to day? There we go. Let's try this out. I mean, that did a lot of damage just from the, the stealth strike there. And that's not including all of the projectiles. Okay, that's super good. I can see why it was recommended. Uh, I'm going to drop my money in here before I die eventually and get rid of it all. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm finally retiring these two weapons. And I don't need to kill him again. So let's see here. Uh, we've killed Plaguebringer. Now we have Duke Fisheron and Ravager. Ravager is a pain in the butt, but I think I may be able to, to kill him real quick. Uh, and then we go straight into the Lunatic Cultist, which I think is also going to be fairly straightforward. So Toxic Heart, uh, heart rather summons a plague aura around you that damages nearby enemies. Makes you immune to the plague debuff. It's pretty good because that did a lot of damage to me during that fight. Um, we have a bunch of this, but I don't think we're going to use it for anything. Hold on, let's go here. Uh, where did it go? Bam. So, yeah, I, I don't actually think I'm going to use this for anything. 
So that's kind of a, a, a dead crafting material to us. And then I never read this. A horrific uh, amalgam of steel, flesh, and infection capable of destroying an entire civilization in, in just one onslaught. Its plague nuke barrage can leave an entire area uninhabitable for months. A shame that it came to this, but the plague must be contained. I, I feel pretty good about killing him as quickly as we did because that was one of the biggest walls that we came across in the mage playthrough. So that was... That was fun. Actually, I, I, I did enjoy that fight more so than I did the first time I ever did that fight. Get rid of all this stuff. Drop that in there. My inventory is so close to being full. How do we summon Ravager? We need a death whistle. How do I make a death whistle? Death whistle. I can make one right now. Bam. Now we can just go kill the Ravager. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Where do, where do I need to summon him? Does it say anywhere in particular? Da, 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 very old temple whistle, so much Ravager. Okay. I think I could just kill the Ravager over here in our our area. And I'm going to try out our syringe with it. So let's rebuff. Oh, dang it. That didn't, that didn't really work, did it? <laughs> oh, that's right, the little wall things. I forgot about the little wall things. Actually, you know what? This particular fight might be better with the Sandstorm. Uh, we gotta watch out for the walls. Because he just likes to sit there. And I think that because he does, that this this weapon is going to be better. Didn't we have a mage weapon that did something similar? I think we did. Which is what caused it to be so good against the boss. And I think I can actually just spam this rather than wait for stealth strikes. Although I'm taking a lot of damage here. Uh, can I hit with the rage? Okay, I think we've already went into the second phase of the fight. I have no idea the health of the boss. <laughs> There's so many little pieces to him. But this is definitely the correct weapon to use here. Die Ravager. Okay. Oh, no, I'm almost dead. <laughs> I got seven seconds on a heal. I just gotta live for seven seconds. Let's fly up and over. Whoa, that was close, wasn't it? Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's rebuff and do that. I think I think we could kill him. Try this again. Also, maybe, maybe I wait for stealth strikes on this one. I know it seems weird, because I was just spamming it and doing very well with that, but if if I can actually land with stealth strikes, I think it's gonna just destroy this boss. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's let's get him in a spot. Wait for him to move. He likes to move. Okay. Then we hit with the stealth strike. Oh my goodness. I'm just, just I'm constantly being attacked by this boss. <laughs> There's something always attacking me. Am I supposed to be doing him at night? Is that the problem? Is he enraged or something? Yep. This is this is going well. Right here. This is nice. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so much going on. No, don't don't go under the boss. We've learned our lesson last time. Oh, just stupid pillars. Holy cow. I'm gonna try this at night. I don't I feel like there's so much going on that I don't remember being there before the uh the last time I've ever fought this fight. So I'm gonna go back over here. We're gonna shift it to night. We're gonna buff up and see if this works. Also, it's possible that maybe they made it like Providence, which has like different types of phases based on the biome you're in, along with the time of day and everything. So uh, yeah, that, that might be the case. And I might just be messing this up. Actually, I feel like this is harder to see at night and there's just as much stuff. Although I almost have, surprisingly, a ooh, uh, adrenaline. So let's try with that. Okay, you know what? That did something. That did something. What did it do? I don't know. <laughs> but suddenly we're in a different phase of this fight that I, oh my goodness, I think I need to go to the syringe. Where is he? Uh, yeah, yeah. What the heck is this thing following me around? Do I, do I spam or do I wait for stealth strikes? I don't know. You did it, did it. Okay. You know what? Those, those do a lot of damage, not gonna lie. But is it better? 
No, why do I keep going under the boss like that? Okay, I got 30 seconds on a heal. I think I just keep waiting for Stealth Strike. Because, oh, he's moving way too fast to be able to use the Sandstorm on him. I was not expecting a whole second phase here. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm fighting him at night. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Ravager. Stop it. Go away. Nope. Don't, don't drop on me. I don't know what this thing is, but it's really kind of annoying. Because I keep feeling like I need to... I have a heal in a second here. I, I keep feeling like I need to not get hit by it. I think it's just more distraction than anything else, though. Oh, I, I thought I was going to get that stealth strike off, and I did not. All right, come on. Wait for the stealth strike. Oh, now it's shooting at me, of course. Okay, so it's not just a distraction. Maybe... Can I hit him with this while he's down? I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Oh, come on. Stop getting hit by the walls. <laughs> the syringe, I think, is, is the correct weapon to be using on this phase. But it's a matter of getting that stealth strike in. Ooh, with this. Oh, no, I died right at the end. I need to look stuff up on this. I think there's something I feel like I'm doing wrong. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments. I don't know what I'm doing other than running into the walls constantly. Maybe maybe that's my thing. Is maybe I need to... Instead of going left and right like I'm doing, maybe I need to go up and down. I think that might help. Because I'm moving so far left and right, but the walls are just constantly running into me. Yeah, I think maybe that's what I need to do. And possibly at least swap out some weapon or some uh, things here for, for this particular fight may also help.